तो गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल माई सेल्फ मनोज कुमार बुंडेला असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर सुरेश ज्ञान विहार यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर तो टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द प्रोटेक्टेड कल्टिवेशन एंड सेकेंडरी एग्रीकल्चर तो टूडेज टॉपिक इज वाट इज प्रोटेक्टेड कल्टिवेशन ग्रीन हाउस एंड इट एडवांटेज ग्रीन हाउस इफेक्ट एंड टाइप ऑफ ग्रीन हाउस इंट्रोडक्शन वी नो विद द ग्लोबलाइजेशन ऑफ मार्केट मार्केट श्रिंकिंग लैंड एंड क्लाइमेट चेंज द प्रोटेक्टेड कल्टिवेशन ऑफ हाई वैल्यू क्रॉप हैज एमर्ज एज द सिंगल मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर एंश्योरिंग हाई प्रोडक्टिविटी इम्प्रूव कल्टिवेशन इम्प्रूव क्वालिटी प्रोफिटेबल रिटर्न सो एज वी ऑलरेडी नो नो डेट द land is reducing day by day because the population is increasing so to feed the increasing population the area is reducing so how we can use the small area for cultivation of large scale food production so for that what we have to do we have to prepare the greenhouse we can grow the fruits and vegetables in protected cultivation especially the vegetables we can grow in protected cultivation so if we grow in protected cultivation it will give the high yield and the quality of the fruits and vegetables will will be improve profitable return it will give the good returns so protected cultivation on commercial scale is undertaken in over 50 countries across the globe the first modern greenhouse were built in italy in 13th century so first green house is developed in 13th century in india green house technology started in 1980 and initially it was used for the research only initially the green house are normally used for the research purpose only but now the population is increasing and the land is decreasing so that we can use the protected cultivated green greenhouse for the large scale cultivation in india the first poly was poly house was designed and step up in 1985 at le jammu kashmir so first poly house is developed in jammu kashmir in ladakh the green house are being built for extending the growing season of vegetables from 3 to 8 months protected cultivation The protected cultivation practice can be defined as the cropping technique wherein the micro environment surrounding the plant body is controlled partially fully as per the need during their period of growth to maximize the yield and resource saving the different types of structures and technology are used in commercial protected cultivation the level and the type of adoption of technology depends upon the location type of crops grown type of market targeted and quality of protected production required so according to the area and locations according to the fruits we have to according to the vegetables means what vegetables we are growing according to that we have to select the land the various type of structures and technology adopted for commercial protected cultivation the protected cultivation ensures the conservation of soil moisture means we can soil moisture will be maintained in protected cultivation and second is efficient use of energy mainly solar energy means we can maximize maximum use the solar energy the advantage of greenhouse for protected cultivation is higher yield so we will get the higher production year around cultivation means in complete years means in a year we can get the two or three crops if we are getting the three crops also we can get or if we are growing the two crops we can get the two crops also better quality it will increase the quality of the fruits off season production so we can grow the fruits and vegetables in off season assured production means it will 100% we will get the production off season cultivation means normally when the mark in market the 
demand of that particular fruits and vegetables is more that time we can grow that particular fruits and vegetables so it will give the more price in the market like in tomato if we grow the tomato at early stage so we will get the good price in market as compared to the seasonal tomato seasonal tomato means we will get the 10 or 15 rupees kg price but in off season if we grow the tomato we will get the 50 rupees kg tomato and 60 rupees tomato price in market so that will it will increase the production it will increase the price of the particular product generate the self employment for the educated rural youth in farm sector means it is a somewhat uh, means the rural youth youth if they will get some jobs in this list pesticide residues so we will not use the so much quantity of pesticides also controlled pollination so we can control the pollination also easier plant protection means easily we can go for means plant protection measures we can easily apply weed free cultivation in protected cultivation we can grow the fruits and vegetable on beds and with the help of drips we will supply the water and the water will fall down in the surface in the roots of the plant means it is directly available to the roots of the plant so if it not fall down in other area so that area will be free from the weeds so it will control the weed potential crops for protected cultivation so normally in greenhouse the major suitable crops is such as tomato capsicum cucumber french bean cabbage chili cauliflower so these are the major suitable vegetables for growing in greenhouse in flower crops like rose gerbera carnations we can grow and nursery for all vegetable crops because of their small life span so we for all vegetable crop nursery we can grow in greenhouse then we will go for transplanting into the main field but this technology is mainly suitable for commercial farming as it required the investment is in setting up the entire framework because the initial cost of establishment of establishment of any greenhouse is more but we will get the good returns from the market the type of protected cultivation so these are greenhouse poly house poly tunnels glass house shed net house hydroponics so greenhouse means greenhouse poly house means they are made up from the polythene bags greenhouse means they are made up from green we can use the green carpets we use poly house is made up from poly poly tunnels means we can prepare the tunnels and cover it by the cover it by the white white polythene sheets glass house they are made up from the glass shed net house shed net house it is green carpet we use and hydroponic means growing of the fruits and vegetables in without soil without use of the soil means in water only we are grow that is called as hydroponics the objective of the course the main objective of the course is to create the knowledge about the protected cultivation means we will give the knowledge to the students so that they will grow the fruits and vegetables in protected house how they can grow generate the self employment for the youth means for the youth new youth so they will develop the self employment means they will get the jobs and all it will create the knowledge about the post harvest management for increase the self life of horticulture crop so we will learn, learn about the post harvest management means after harvesting of the fruits and vegetables how we can increase the self life of the fruits and vegetables so that we can store them for the longer period of the time and we will get the good price in the market greenhouse a greenhouse is a frame framed or an inflated structure covered with a transparent or transparent materials in which crops could be grown under the condition of at least partial controlled environment and which is large enough to permit the persons to work within it to carry out the cultural operations so greenhouse is normally is a framework normally it is a covered framework we use it is covered by the we can use the plastic we can use the plastic uh, that polythenes we can use to cover it greenhouse effect in general the percentage of carbon dioxide in atmosphere is 0.035% or 345 ppm but due to the emission of the pollutants 
and exhaust gases into the atmosphere, the percentage of carbon dioxide is increased, which forms a blanket in the outer surface. Means outer atmosphere, it will create an blanket. Means black layer, it will create. This causes the entrapping of entrapping of the reflected solar radiation from the earth surface. Due to this, the atmospheric temperature increase and it will cause the global warming. Due to greenhouse gases, the atmospheric temperature increase and it will cause the global warming. The melting of ice caps and rise in the ocean level which result in the submerged and coastal lines. This phenomena of increasing in the eminent temperature due to the formation of blanket carbon dioxide is known as greenhouse effect. Greenhouse effect means in the atmosphere the, the quantity of nitrogen carbon dioxide and N2O nitrogen carbon dioxide ammonia the quantity will be increased then due to increasing in quantity the greenhouse due to the greenhouse gases and it will cause the reduced means it's the temperature will be increased and that increasing temperature will affect the crops the greenhouse covering materials act in in a similar way as it is transparent to shorter wave radiation and opaque to long wave radiation means in greenhouse we whatever the covering materials we use in greenhouse it is transparent for the shorter wave means shorter wave means easily transparent in that but the long wave will be not insert in that so they will not affect our crop advantage of greenhouse technology though the year four to five crops can be grown in greenhouse due to availability of required plant environmental condition so in greenhouse the whatever the environmental condition they are more suitable for the plants and they easily we can grow the four to five crops in a greenhouse the productivity of the crops is increased considerably means the productivity is increased the superior quality produce can be obtained as they are grown under suitable controlled environment the superior quality produce can be obtained as they are grown under the suitable controlled environment the gadgets for efficient use of various inputs like water fertilizer seeds and plant protection chemicals can be well maintained in greenhouse means in greenhouse we can means water we are applying through the drip so we whatever the how much water is applied that much water only we apply with the drip only we will apply the fertilizers also that is called as fertigation means in water we mix the fertilizers and then we apply so that is called as fertigation seed and plant protection chemicals we can apply easily we can apply in greenhouse and we can easily control the spread of pest and disease because some disease, some pest are they are spread by the insect and the insects they will not enter into the greenhouse. So the spreading means the disease, that particular disease or pest will be not spread at more quantity. Means we can easily control them. The percentage of seed germination is high. So normally the seed germination percentage is also high in the greenhouse. The accumulation of the plants of tissue culture techniques can be carried out in the greenhouse. Means in green when we prepare the any plants in when we prepare the any plant in tissue culture techniques so that time the plant is very soft and if we directly we will transplant into the main field the plant will be die because the accumulate means the cultural technique temperature is different as compared to the outer outer environment temperature so what we have to do for that accumulation we have to keep the after tissue culture we keep the plants into the greenhouse for some days. After that, we will transfer into the main field. So, accumulation work also we can do in this. The agri agricultural and horticultural crops production scheduled can be planned to take advantage of market needs. So, according to the market requirements, early crop we can grow and late crop also we can grow. Agricultural, different type of growing media we can use like peat, mass, vermiculite, rice hulls and compost that are used in intensive agricultural can be effective utilization in greenhouse. The export quality of the produce of the international standards can be produced in greenhouse. 
the green house are suitable for automation of irrigation application of other inputs and environment control by using the computer and artificial intelligence techniques so in greenhouse automation means irrigation we can apply automatically with the help of computers we can apply the irrigation we can use the artificial intelligence techniques and inputs we can use to supply the water and with water we can supply the fertilizers also self employment for educated youth means the the youths which are educated so they can also work in greenhouse they will get the self employment this type of greenhouse so there are based on the shapes based on the utility based on the construction materials based on the covering materials there are four types of they are they are normally there are four types like based on shape there are lean to type greenhouse even span greenhouse uneven span greenhouse ridge and furrow type greenhouse saw to type greenhouse quescent type greenhouse based on the utility for active heating like utility means we can use the greenhouse for active heating or we can use for active cooling also based on construction materials either we can use the wooden framed greenhouse pipe frames we can use the pipe and truss frames greenhouse we can use based on the covering materials like glass greenhouse we can use plastic filled greenhouse we can use and this plane this panel greenhouse we can use So these are the best on the covering materials. So these are all are the different types of the greenhouses. First one is lean to type greenhouse. So lean to type means it is placed against the side of the exciting building. Means normally this is the building side of the building we can prepare the greenhouse. Lean to type that's why it is called as lean to type. One side it is like this. It shares a wall with a building and release. release on the building structures to provide some supports for the greenhouse roof it is typically facing the south side so normally lean to type greenhouse is face the south side the lean to type greenhouse is limited to single and double single and double plant benches with a total width of 7 to 12 feet advantage of lean to type greenhouse the always close to avail available electricity water and heat least expensive structures it will not expend so much money for this preparation of make the best use of sunlight and utilize the requirement of the roof support means it will get the support from the roof and it will use the maximum sunlight because it in south direction this advantage limited space limited light limited ventilation and temperature control the height of the supporting wall limits the potential size of the design so if the height is less so the whatever the design whatever the lean to type greenhouse we are preparing the size is also small temperature control is more difficult because the wall that the greenhouse is built on may collect the sun heat while the trans transparent covers of the greenhouse may lose the heat rapidly it is a half greenhouse split long the peak of the roof even span type of greenhouse in even span the standard type and full size structures that two roof slopes are of equal pitch and width means normally the two two roof floor is they are equal length and the width is same like this we have to prepare this design is used for the greenhouse for the small size and it is constructed on level ground it is attached to the house of one glab end means one glab end is like this it is attached to the house it is it can be accommodate 2 to 3 row of plant benches means 2 to 3 row of plant benches we can accommodate the cost of an even span greenhouse is more than the cost of an lean to type greenhouse but it is greater flexibility in design and provides for more plants because of its size greater amount of 
exposed glass area and even stand will host more the more to heat the design has a better shape than a lean to type for air circulation to maintain the uniform temperature during the winter heating season so winter in winter the temperature the outside temperature is less so in lean to type green house in even span green house it will maintain the normal temperature the separate heating system is necessary unless the structure is very close to the heated building the several single and multiple span types are available for use in various regions of india for single span type the shape is generally varies from 5 to 9 meter so single span the shape is 5 to 9 meter whereas in length is around 24 meter single span in single span we are using generally it varies from 5 to 9 meter where is the length is around 24 meter the height is varies from 2.5 to 4.3 meter so this is even span type of green house so this is the exhaust fan we can use here and this is the both side it is a even span an even span an even span means have an equal pitches and width even even span means it have the same pitch like this one is this one is same but in an even span means one side is big second side is small the roof are unequal width the roof have the unequal width limited to hill side view normally it is mainly used in the hilly areas only rarely built nowadays as it is not adopted for the automation nowadays we are not using so much of an even span type of greenhouse ridge and fuzzo type of greenhouse so consist of a number of even span greenhouse and and connected along the length of the house all shared walls are eliminated gives more growing space so this is the even span type we can even pitch we can use so like this also we can prepare the even span so this is also even span this is also even span type of greenhouse besides or besides best oriented north and south to reduce permanent shadow on the crop creates by the gutters so these are the gutters so normally we can use in the direction of this is north and south direction we will use the disadvantage of this and fuzzo greenhouse would be that if water was not correctly drained the damage would be caused so normally for this that water will be drain easily if the water will not drain it will be stagnate here then it will cause the loss so normally we like this we can we can use this for the and we can connect this from the any pond we can connect and we can connect the water we can collect this water and use for the other purpose also shadow from the gutters could prohibit the sunlight sometime what will happen the from this gutter the shadow will come this side so it will also prohibit the sunlight the sunlight will be less available to the plants the two type greenhouse similar to the ridge and fuzzo type greenhouse except that there is a provision for the natural ventilation in this type the specific natural ventilation flow path develop in sort to type of greenhouse so sort to means one side is big second side is small one is big so this is also not used so much so this is sort to type of greenhouse in natural ventilating ventilation flow path develop fusion type of greenhouse so fusion means only one loop is there in this this is a greenhouse where the pipes houses and trusses are supported by the pipe purling running running along the length of the greenhouse the covering materials used for this type of greenhouse is polythene so normally we use the polythenes for this the less expensive than the gutter connected greenhouse and are useful when a small isolated cultural area is required for the small area we can use this type of greenhouse fusion type of greenhouse greenhouse type based on the utility so based on the utility i told you two types of greenhouse here greenhouse 
first is green house for the active heating second is green house for the active cooling so green house for the active heating means during the night time air temperature inside the green house is decreased night time what will happen the air temperature is reduced so avoid the cold bite to the plant due to the freezing some amount of heat has to be supplied the requirement of the heating greenhouse depends on the rate at which the heat is lost to the outside environment the various methods are adopted to reduce the heat losses so to reduce the heat loss we use the different methods using double layer poly thin we can use the double layer poly thin we can use we can use the thermo pan glass we can use means two layer of factory sealed glass with dead air space we can use or to use the heating system we can use to increase the heat such as a unit heater central heat radiant we can use and heat and solar heating system we can use the various methods are adopted to reduce the heat using double layer polythene thermo pan glass or two layer of factory sealed glass with dead air space we can use green house for active cooling during the summer season it is desirable to reduce the temperature of greenhouse then the abundant temperature for the effective crop growth hence suitable modification are made in the greenhouse so that the large volume of cooled air is drawn into the greenhouse in active cooling means during the summer means normally it is best on the summer and winter in winter the temperature is less so we have to increase the greenhouse temperature so for that we use the active heating in in case of winter what will happen the temperature is less in case of summer the temperature is more so we have to reduce the temperature so hence the suitable modification are made in greenhouse so that the large volume of cooled air is drawn into the greenhouse this type of greenhouse either consists of evaporative cooling pad with fan and foam cooling we can use the greenhouse is designed in such a way that it permits a roof opening of 40% and in some cases nearly 100% roof opening will be there active greenhouse next is greenhouse type based on the construction material so materials i already told you one is wooden framed greenhouse and second one is pipe framed greenhouse the space is less than 6 meter side posted and column are constructed of wood without the use of truss so like we can use the woods without the truss we can use the woods the common used materials are pine wood and timber with good strength durability and means normally whatever the materials wooden materials we use that is have the good strength it will not damage early so like this materials we have to use pipe framed structures we can use second one so span length is should be around 12 meter for 6 meter we use the wooden framed greenhouse span length should be 12 meter means we can use the pipe framed structures we use in general the side post column cross ties and pure lines are constructed using pipes so we can use the plastic pipes to construction of the this type of greenhouse in this type the truss are not used normally we not use the truss the difference in this is the length is 6 meter and in this the length is 12 meter in this we use the truss and in this we not use the truss so you can say this is the wooden wooden framed greenhouse and this is pipe framed greenhouse we can use the plastic pipes next is truss framed greenhouse if the greenhouse span is greater than or equal to 15 meter truss frames are used side post and column are constructed of wood without the use of truss the flat steel tubular steel or angular iron is welded together to form a truss and comprising the flat Ports or steps. The steps are support members under the comp compression, and chords are supports members under the tension. 
the angle higher than pure lines running throughout the length of the greenhouse and bottled to each truss. Columns are used only in very wide truss framed house of 21.3 meters or more. Most of the glass are best suitable for the prefabrication. So these are the truss we have to make. Truss and these are the pure lean, truss, pure lean and gills we can use. Greenhouse type based on the covering materials means what type of covering materials we are using. The covering materials have direct influence on the greenhouse effect inside the structure and they and they after that the air temperature inside the house. So a glass greenhouse the advantage having a greater interior light intensity so based on the greenhouse, based on the covering material, one is glass greenhouse, second one is plastic film greenhouse we use. So normally it is based on the covering material. So covering materials either we can use glass or we can use the plastics. So glass frame greenhouse means advantage having greater interior light intensity. These greenhouse have the higher air infiltration rate which needs to lower interior humidity and better disease prevention. So if we use the glass means it will reduce interior humidity will, will be maintained means in humidity will be less if the humidity will be less so attack of the disease will be less examples of lean to type and even spain ridge and fuzzo type so these all are made up by the glass greenhouse plastic film greenhouse the flexible plastic film including polythene polyester polyvinyl chloride and are used as a covering materials in this type of greenhouse. We can use the polythene, polyester or polyvinyl chloride we can use. They are cheap and the cost of heating is less when compared to the glass greenhouse. The main advantage with this is plastic film is its shorter life. Fusent design as well as gutter connected design is suitable for using the covering materials. Cushion design we can use or as well as we can use the gutter connector design. So greenhouse based on the covering materials, third one is ridged panel greenhouse. The polyvinyl chloride ridged panel fiberglass reinforced plastic acrylic and polycarbonate ridged panel are employed as a covering materials in the cushion type frames of this and fuzzo type frame. This material is more resistant to breakage and the high intensity is uniform throughout the greenhouse. When compared to the glass or plastic, the high grade panels have long lifespan up to the 20 years means it has a life span is up to 20 years the main disadvantage is that these panels tends to collect dust as well as the harbor sludge harbor al algae which result in darkening of the panels and subsequent reduction in the light transmission there is a significant danger for the fire hazards so in this panel greenhouse, normally a fire problem will means there is a take of fire in this. So that is the main disadvantage. So next is shed net house. So shed netting are designed to protect the crop and plants from the UV radiation, ultraviolet radiation, but they also provide the protection from the climatic condition such as a temperature variation, intensive rain and winds. The better growth condition can be achieved for the crops due to the con controlled microclimate condition creates in the covered area with shed netting which result in the higher crop yield. So normally in shed net house what we have to do? The controlled microclimate we use it will create create in the covered area with said net 
and which result in the higher crop yield. Oral netting are UV stabilized to fulfill the expected lifetime of the expected lifetime of the area of exposure. They are characterized of higher tear resistance, low weight for easy and quick installation with a 30 to 90 percent shed value range. A wide range of shedding nets are available in market which are defined on the basis of percentage of shed that delivered to the plant growing under the under them. So normally in shed net house, normally it is mainly used for the when we go for preparation of nurseries. It's when we go to the nursery in that normally we use the shed net house. For shed net house, it will reduce the light means the whatever the temperature is there that is less as compared to the shed net house. It will protect from the winds and what when the rainfall will come that rainfall directly it will not affect to the plants. First it will fall down on the shed net house then it will affect to the, the main crops and whenever we prepare the nursery normally we will prepare in the shed net house only. In shed net house normally means artificially only we have to apply the water and it is mainly used for the growing of the flowers also means flower crops also we can grow in the shed net house. So this is all about the shed net house and this is all about the greenhouse technology. So there are the different types of greenhouse and all we have already discussed. So this is the books we are referred like protected cultivation and secondary agriculture by Amit K and protected cultivation for horticulture crop by Balraj Singh. So these are the two books we are referred. That's all. Thank you. Thank you all. This small one is six. So this is also not used so much. So this is short to type of greenhouse. In natural ventilation flow part develop. Fusion type of greenhouse. So fusion means only one loop is there in this. This is a greenhouse where the pipes, houses and trusses are supported by the pipe purling running, running along the length of the greenhouse. The covering materials used for this type of greenhouse is polythene. So normally we use the polythenes for this. The less expensive than the gutter connected greenhouse and are useful when a small isolated cultural area is required. For the small area, we can use this type of greenhouse, fusion type of greenhouse. Greenhouse type based on the utility. So based on the utility, I told you two types of greenhouse here. Greenhouse, first is greenhouse for the active heating. Second is greenhouse for the active cooling. So greenhouse for the active heating means during the night time, air temperature inside the greenhouse is decreased night time what will happen the air temperature is reduced so avoid the cold bite to the plant due to the freezing some amount of heat has to be supplied the requirement of the heating greenhouse depends on the rate at which the heat is lost to the outside environment the various methods are adopted to reduce the heat losses so to reduce the heat loss we use the different methods using double layer poly we can use the double layer polythenes, we can use we can use the thermo pan glass, we can use means two layer of factory sealed glass with dead air space we can use or to use the heating system we can use to increase the heat such as a unit heater, central heat radiant we can use and heat and solar heating system we can use. The various methods are adopted to reduce the heat using double layer polythene, thermo pan glass or two layer of factory sealed glass with dead air space we can use. Greenhouse for active cooling. During the summer season, it is desirable to reduce the temperature of greenhouse than the abundant temperature for the effective crop growth. Hence, suitable modifications are made in the greenhouse so that the large volume of cooled air is drawn into the greenhouse. In active cooling means during the summer, means normally it is best on the summer and winter. In winter the temperature is less, so we have to increase the greenhouse temperature. So for that we use the active heating. In, 
in case of winter what will happen the temperature is less in case of summer the temperature is more so we have to reduce the temperature so hence the suitable modification are made in greenhouse so that the large volume of cooled air is drawn into the greenhouse this type of greenhouse either consists of evaporative cooling pad with fan and foam cooling we can use the greenhouse is designed in such a way that it permits a roof opening of 40% and in some cases nearly 100% roof opening will be there active greenhouse next is greenhouse type based on the construction material so materials i already told you one is wooden framed greenhouse and second one is pipe framed greenhouse the space is less than 6 meter side posted and column are constructed of wood without the use of truss so like we can use the woods without the truss we can use the woods the common used materials are pine wood and timber with good strength durability and means normally whatever the materials wooden materials we use that is have the good strength it will not damage early so like this materials we have to use pipe framed structures we can use second one so span length it should be around 12 meter so 6 meter we use the wooden framed greenhouse span length should be 12 meter means we can use the pipe framed structures we use in general the side post column cross ties and pure lines are constructed using pipes so we can use the plastic pipes to construction of the this type of greenhouse in this type the truss are not used normally we not use the truss the difference in this is the length is 6 meter and in this the length is 12 meter in this we use the truss and in this we not use the truss so you can say this is the wooden wooden framed greenhouse and this is pipe framed greenhouse we can use the plastic pipes next is truss framed greenhouse if the greenhouse span is greater than or equal to 15 meter truss frames are used side post and column are constructed of wood without the use of truss the flat steel tubular steel or angular iron is welded together to form a truss and comprising the flex ports or steps the steps are support members under the comp compression and chords are supports members under the tension the angle iron pure lines running throughout the length of the greenhouse and bottled to each truss columns are used only in very wide truss framed house of 21.3 meter or more most of the glass are best suitable for the pre fabrication so these are the truss we have to make truss and these are the pure lin truss pure lin and gills we can use greenhouse type based on the covering materials means what type of covering materials we are using the covering materials have direct influence on the greenhouse effect inside the structure and they and they after that the air temperature inside the house so a glass greenhouse the advantage having a greater interior light intensity so based on the greenhouse based on the covering material one is glass greenhouse second one is plastic film green greenhouse we use so normally it is based on the covering material so covering materials either we can use glass or we can use the plastics so glass frame greenhouse means advantage having greater interior light intensity these greenhouse have the higher air infiltration rate which needs to lower interior humidity and better disease prevention so if we use the glass means it will reduce interior humidity will be maintained means in humidity will be less if the humidity will be less so attack of the disease will be less examples of lean to type and even span ridge and furrow type so these all are made up by the glass greenhouse plastic film greenhouse 
the flexible plastic film including polythene polyester polyvinyl chloride and are used as a covering materials in this type of greenhouse we can use the polythene polyester or polyvinyl chloride we can use they are cheap and the cost of heating is less when compared to the glass greenhouse the main advantage with this is plastic film is its shorter life fusion design as well as gutter connected design is suitable for using the covering materials fusion design we can use or as well as we can use the gutter connected design so greenhouse based on the covering materials third one is raised panel greenhouse the polyvinyl chloride raised panel fiber glass reinforced plastic acrylic and polycarbonate raised panel are employed as a covering materials in the cushion type frames of this and ferro type frame this material is more resistant to breakage and the high intensity is uniform throughout the greenhouse when compared to the glass or plastic the high grade panels have long life span up to the 20 years means it have the life span is up to 20 years the main disadvantage is that these panels tends to collect dust as well as the arbor sludge arbor al algae which result in darkening of the panels and subsequent reduction in the light transmission there is a significant danger for the fire hazards so in this panel greenhouse normally the fire problem will means there is a take of fire in this so that is the main disadvantage so next is shed net house so shed netting are designed to protect the crop and plants from the uv radiation ultra violet radiation but they also provide the protection from the climatic condition such as a temperature variation intensive rain and winds the better growth condition can be achieved for the crops due to the con controlled microclimate condition creates in the covered area with shed netting which result in the higher crop yield so normally in shed net house what we have to do the controlled microclimate we use it will create create in the covered area with shed net and which result in the higher crop yield all netting are uv stabilized to fulfill the expected lifetime of the expected lifetime of the area of exposure they are characterized of higher tear resistance low weight for easy and quick installation with a 30 to 90% shed value range a wide range of shedding nets are available in market which are defined on the basis of percentage of shed that delivered to the plant growing under the under them so normally in shed net house normally it is mainly used for the when we go for preparation of nurseries If when we go to the nursery in that normally we use the shed net house for so shed net house it will reduce the light means the whatever the temperature is there that is less as compared to the shed net house it will protect from the